So Tech two at full wick here. And these guys struggling to get high enough to get over George's head without a drop and a reset. George's head away in the distance, past, down past Noakes. The gap between Tech 2 and Noakes, four shortened by a camera, actually only about four boat lengths. <laughs> Comes there all barreling along. Yandu looks the most relaxed. Woody's sort of just sitting in quietly. Sitting there, but. The, the gentleman, here's Noakes. The gentleman on the cruise on the Yandu except Fang yelling at them. Beautiful. Sean, Ed and Josh working very hard. They've got to get around that headland in the distance. They'll, they'll be knocking off. Yeah, all at the moment, all three will have to drop. Yeah, no. And here goes Tech 2 on the drop. Tech 2 first to drop. Yandu, Yandu also. Yandu responding. But Noakes, what he did last week, he went a long way in and then main and jibbed along the shore basically. And then reset. So he's hanging on, Noakes, here in the shoot. Hey, Pete. And for the viewer, not on screen, but the perfect full speed drop on the Tech 2. Noakes has got a shot at this. Yeah, he has. Big shot at it. Swing it oh. out, boys. Swing it out. Locals, etc. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh. No, he's going to have to drop. Yeah. He's having a go, though. He is really having a go. Boat is almost oh, airborne. Oh. Plenty of centre board, you can see. Ah. Oh. Oh. Trying to drag that fluid wing to drive the apparent forward, right? Yeah, uh, just trying to reduce the pressure in the rig. I think he's got a drop, hasn't he? More heel. Going oh. up, dude. No, it's good though. Oh. <laughs> good from here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Told you to pull it on a bit, Pete. Meanwhile, Tech Two is rolling up to windward of him, made a jib. Anyway, he's giving it a shot here, Noakes. He, yeah, he's going to get there, I think. He can certainly flag that distance if he has to. And then if he can get to the point, even if he has to rag it for 30 seconds, advantage back to him. Tech 2 has to reset soon. Yeah. See the crew right down the back. They're going to get there, I think. They are. Uh, which Just is a great effort. No, that's perfect. From uh, Tech 2 saying we're a bit conservative, but let's... Yeah. Are they going to set any second? Let's there go, guys. Oh, Noakes is on a screamer. He's got to get round the point. Lift, lift the centre board to get round. No, he's right. He's around. Well, top marks to Noakes. We start this week's Sailing World on Water with a masterclass of spinnaker sailing by Sean Langman of the Noakes Racing Team. It's a much watch for any budding sailor. Here are our highlights in the sport of sailing, globally, in the last seven days. We start with how the team of Frank Camars and Charles Gaudrelier sailed their world team into first place in the Transat Jacques Arb. It's an interesting video on how they handled the huge tri run in a range of conditions. They had big seas and strong winds offshore for the Premier Division's contesting Middle Harbour Yacht Club's annual Sydney Short Ocean Racing Championship put the stress test on crews over the 24 nautical mile course, described as brutal by a Division 1 winning tactician. Michael Fountain from Jerry Haddon's corrected time winner, Bush Ranger, said, brutal is the only way to describe it. Very tough conditions with constant 27 knots southerlies gusting to 33 and seas to 4 metres. The 11th edition of Sailing Arabia the Tour, Oman's premier offshore race, returned this week with teams representing Oman and Europe racing at four venues along the nation's coastline in a combination of coastal raids and in-port races. Eric Marius likes to race fast, on the water and off. In addition to his long, successful history in Grand Prix sailing, he is also an endurance motor racer. Big offshore gusts and sunny skies delivered a van-storming conclusion to the 2021 Kite Foil World Series Quirt Aventura. Max Marta of Singapore came out on top in a thrilling duel with Axel Mozella from France. Homer Newland of France dominated the women's division, winning the trophy ahead of Great Britain's Ellie Aldridge. The defending champion Tech 2 team was back to its best form on Sydney Harbour last weekend when the crew of Jack McCartney, Lewis Brake and Luke Parkinson produced a come-from-behind performance to take an exciting victory in race 2 of the 2021-22 New South Wales 18 feet skiff championship. 
in a race which saw the lead change several times throughout the long southerly course. Tech 2 crossed the finish line ahead of last Sunday's race 1 winner, Nurk Sailing, Sean Langman, Ed Powers and Josh Porewski. Now over to the guys on the all-winning Jatana 17, Edmund de Rothschild. Bienvenue sur le trimaran Edmond Rothschild. On est lundi matin et on vient de passer la première nuit sur la Transat Jacques Vabre. Et puis comme vous voyez, il n'y a pas de monde derrière moi. On a galéré toute la nuit à essayer de franchir euh, l'île d'Ouessant avec une trajectoire à ne pas montrer dans les écoles de voile parce qu'on a fait beaucoup de détours. C'est facile, mais c'est super physique. L'ambiance du caverne. Ça glisse tout seul, ça va pas trop vite, ça, ça nous détend un peu. On va plus vite que les autres, en plus, ça, ça, ça détend beaucoup plus. Dans le poteau noir. Bonne nouvelle, la seule petite avarie à bord de Maximo Rothschild avec le l'histoire du moteur, c'est cette petite déchirure sur la voile. Rien de bien grave, ça aurait pu finir comme ça, mais par sécurité. J'ai fait une belle réparation, dont je suis fier. Le bateau en parfait état. Voilà, en train de photographier Tranat, qu'on n'aura jamais vu. Et on remonte vers le nord, enfin. Là on est où on est Après Tranat, on va à fond. Ça allume grave. Pas tant de banque ça, mais euh, on est à l'angle idéal pour aller vite. C'est un petit exercice de garder le maxi en dessous de 40 nœuds, il ne demande qu'à partir. Ah ben, on est en train de remonter dans le nord pour aller à San Pedro et qu'on doit virer encore à 600 000. C'est un pompe qu'on manque un peu de fuel, donc euh, la éolienne tourne à plein gaz. Je ne sais pas que ça serait si long, mais on va consommer plus qu'au prévu. Et il est super chaud le long de la Guyane. Là, il faut que j'immortalise ça. Ah bah ouais. Oh putain, j'aime un sang quoi. On vient de passer euh, San Pedro. On est au portant, à nouveau, avec le Genacker, un pont de nœud, et cette fois-ci, direction ouest, vers les Antilles. Et voilà, un beau lever de soleil, et c'est le dernier pour le Maxi de Ronchi. On approche de la Highline pour arriver. Donc c'est cool, on, a, on se l'allope quand même entre les îles. Attention pour l'arrivée de monde Rothschild, premier de la catégorie ultra. Arrivée, arrivée de Edmond de Rothschild, numéro 17. Bravo. Merci, euh, merci à vous de nous soutenir en tout cas. Parce qu'on a des, on vit des grands moments avec, euh, avec cette équipe et avec vous. Non, non, on a bien apprécié. On est content de notre course.
Hi, I'm Michael Fountain. I'm the tactician on uh, the mighty Bush Ranger. Today was in one of the toughest ever. It was a uh, very challenging beat, upwind in up to 33 knots, and a very big sea. And uh, managed to get there in one piece, unlike quite a few others. Always very close uh, in this regatta, so yeah, tomorrow probably a little lighter, windward lures that suits us a little bit more. Uh, but gosh, just, you know, there's some good boats here, so it's not it's not going to be easy to win. But uh, we'll be giving it a, a really good crack. Mark Griffith of Old School Racing on the skipper. Um, a very hard day today, very um, big, big, confused seas. Um, so there's a lot of work trying to get the boat to, um, you know, to sail, keep it in the groove, to sail, um, to sail up to windward in those conditions. But um, you know, once, we, once we turn the corner, it was a nice, easy um, ride home. So a, you know, a great race. And considering how, how many retirements were, there were, we're really happy just to get around the course without breaking anything. I think it's a great winter destination. The boat is fun, people are fun, like meeting new people, it's, it's very exciting. And I'm really uh, thankful for the sponsors who brought us here, took care of us. I'm really excited to be here. It's uh, pretty exciting uh, to do this stuff again. My role is uh, to drive, it's a different role for me, new thing for me, but for sure I have a great team around. I think Yasser, he's the guy who's the, the machine on the boat. Is it and uh, Marcos, they are uh, the, also the second machine on the boat, so they have the eyes outside looking for the wind and the tactic as well. Hopefully we'll have a nice result in the end. For me, it's my first time in Oman and I really love it. We had a very good first act. We won a couple of races, we're having fun. continuation of the twins. Uh, my boat used to be called Twins before uh, because I had some twin boys uh, and then I got two little uh, girls, one named Zoe and the other one called Luna. So that, that became Zulu. Uh, well, we've been a team with these guys for um, I think the three or four last years for most of them. It's a part of the, um, the French America's Cup team. Uh, up front, you've got Nico. Uh, then you have the young guy aboard, which is Bruno Morniac. And the funny part of that is I used to sail with his father when we did the Extreme 40 and his uncle, with whom I do the F-18. Then what do you have? You got Thomas, who is the um, tactician and traveler. He, he puts us in the right direction. And then you got uh, the one we call the legend, Mr. Fouchier, uh, who won the, uh, the America's Cup. He's been I've been privileged to uh, be sailing next to him for 15 years. He was there the first time we got the uh, Swan 45 out. The strength is the Eric personality. It's dedicated to performance in sailing and also in uh, car racing. And uh, our job is to provide him the, the best boat around the course. And then just the atmosphere, it looks like more like a family than a racing uh, team. And that's what makes Zulu a team special, yeah. 
It's an integral part of my life. Um, again, for the, almost 20 years now, I've been sailing at a competitive level with these guys um, between five and ten times a year. Uh, it's important, it's fun, it's, it's interesting. It's something that I look forward to. Uh, it, it's an integral part of, of what I do year in, year out. Was, would I change anything about Zulu? No, I wouldn't. Um, I love the team, I like the guys, I love the boat. Um, I very much look forward to meeting these guys as often as we can uh, for some racing. No change. I'm from Germany. This is my six-month-old baby Levi. So my dream is to be a really good role model for my baby. And um, yeah, I think I just want to show people that it's, it is possible to be a mom and an athlete at the same time. Six races, uh, full on. It was a bit shorter than uh, the other racing day we had. Races went a bit quicker. Uh, my racing day was phenomenal. It was actually a great day, yeah. Difficult, uh, especially today with the wind condition. It was really strong and really challenging. But I mean, we did it. It was really cool to race with everyone, and yeah, I'm pretty happy about what I did. Well, you know, we had offshore winds, right? Stacked that onto gusty, uh, uh, shifting, and and I don't know if, if people know this, but punchy, right? It, it's just harsh in general, and I would have to rate it eight to nine out of ten. I think. Uh, much more and we wouldn't be racing. It's a crazy day. Hi. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at Sydney Harbour and uh, what have we got? Well, Pete, you know, pretty persistent low pressure cell that's kind of come to a bit of a stop in the middle of the Tasman Sea. So we've got this persistent sour, sour, south flow, and um, yesterday was mildly ferocious for, for early summer weather in Sydney. Breeze up to about 35, and today a calmer version of that, but the direction's still 160, 170, and um, expectation that the range during the race today just maybe fade a little as the day goes on, but the range still... 12 to perhaps 20 might cover it. And so, good stuff, second sale, awkward day. No current to speak of, so probably pretty smooth water. Basically, you know, in, in uh, uh, neutral tide conditions, pretty much for the race. Um, and, the, and our friends on the committee have put us on cause four, suddenly. 20 odd seconds and to go. Breeze gone left, and Noakes doing yeah, a Noakes. fantastic job. Yeah, just good at the pin, Noakes. Holding him up, holding him yeah. up. Smeg will be the weather boat here at the committee boat. And Pete looking up the track, Breeze on the right, and, and Breeze on the left. So down two, a bit two in yeah, pressure. Yeah. Okay. Two, two conflicting wins. Here we go. We're away. Clean start. Clean start, I would say, from our vantage point. 
Smeg got the committee boat, but down to Lewitt, I think it would be Noakes. And the Burrowang Hotel was well placed. Andrew just getting themselves going. They recovered pretty quickly from that capsize. They're going away on port tack. Fisher Pike will tacked onto port quickly. And the Ragham Famish has come back for some reason. Oh, OK. Well, they, no one was over. There was no, no uh, individual recall. And we're just watching, having said no boat's got a reef in, we've got Lazarus De Capital Developments, the young crew, they do have a reef in. Yeah, um, right so, on. Yeah, anyway. steep learning curve for those boys, but good luck to them, they're out. Yep. So the fleet are away, the majority going in towards the western side of Bradley's head. Uh, down there we've got Tech 2, Noakes. Uh, Yandu look prominent, but I think it'll be Noakes that'll bail out first and probably cross the pack of the boats that have gone left from the pin end at the start. And plenty of wind in that pack there, Pete, right now. Gee, these boys are on fire. So there you see a bit of skill on the star line, Pete, yeah? yeah. They the... mortgaged the real estate and didn't let it go, did they? About two minutes out, he wanted that end. He yep. did a very, very good job of slowing down and pushing the pedal at the right moment. But that's the group that are challenging for second and third we're on now. Furthest left is Yandu. And we just can't see Tech 2. He's off screen at the moment to the yeah. left. He would be second. Yeah, here he comes. There he is, just tacking. Not on quite the, right, but on the but start. But Noakes is going to lead here by quite a way. Out of the way. You know, just... Oh. Oh. All good. Right. Yep. All nice good. job. And this lead's going to be a good... 25, 30 seconds, and it'll be Tech 2 will be next. Yeah, it's, a, it's, tw yes. it's certainly 20, Pete. Yeah. No shoot yet on the nogue, so no. off. Oh, he's on, on the course axis, but he will have to sit eventually. But enough wind and enough easterners. So maybe yep. wind now about 160 magnetic, for those of you... Big puff. Navigating. Here on the Tech There's 2. Tech 2. And, and Tech 2 cannot get the bow down at the moment. Right. There he there goes. She goes. And tight for third. Yandu squeezy. You'll see them in a moment. Underneath Rag and Famish. You're going to roll over the top of them. So the Rag will be third. Yandu fourth. And screaming is Marcus Ashley Jones and the Lazarus Capital Partners. And there's Smeg tacking on the mark. Nick Elaine at the helm today. Oh, and Woody nearly sank the Yandu. Oh, there's <laughs> Burrowang, Vintech. So here's the, here's the peloton. Here they come. No sign of Andrew yet. Well, these are the two that fought out last week, and again, it's a repeat performance. That red paint must be quick, Pete. Red paint, red spitting it. That's right. <laughs> the Tech 2 look pretty confident about where they are, actually. Nokes look like in VMG running at the moment, so yeah, they... Tech 2 at full heat, and Nokes trying to yeah. soak down towards their land. Advantage Tech 2 at the moment. Yep. As they're approaching George's head and then around into Obelisk Bay, they've opened a quite a significant gap. Wow, and the head sea coming around South Head. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want some spectacular action. There's the Lazarus, there's yeah. the Lazarus partners, capital partners, Marcus Ashley Jones, Cam Gundy and Geronimo Harrison. Probably in third, fourth on the... On yeah. the Field yep, at the moment. Yep, yep. Another new boat this year, but they're the two leaders. Okay, but Jimmy, who's your money on the finish? Uh, Quick answer is a good answer. Yeah, I don't know. Tech two led it up there last time, so let's go with Tech two. Andrew? Yeah, I think Tech two will lead down at Obelisk. And but winning, I'm, winning group, I'm sorry, Yandu's the fastest upwind, but. So, so the finish, I want to know, at the finish, Tech 2. Tech 2, OK. No discredit. No, it's been making a great right. twist of it. Now they're really whipped up at the next exercise to get round George's head. Look at that shot. Wow, isn't that fantastic? Look at that, we're right in the boat. Nice. So Tech 2 at full wick here. And these guys struggling to get high enough to get over George's head without a drop and a reset. George's head away in the distance, past, down past Noakes. The gap between Tech 2 and Noakes, four shortened by a camera, actually only about four boat lengths. 
cups, they're all barreling along. Yandu looks the most relaxed. Woody's sort of just sitting in quietly. Sitting there, but the the gentleman, here's Noakes. The gentleman crews on the Yandu except Fang yelling at them. Beautiful. Sean, Ed and Josh working very hard. They've got to get around that headland in the distance. They'll be knocking off. Yeah, all at the moment, all three will have to drop. Yeah, no, and here goes Tech 2 on the drop. Tech 2 first to drop. Yandu, Yandu also. responding. But Noakes, what he did last week, he went a long way in and then main and jibbed along the shore, basically, and then reset. So he's hanging on, Noakes, here in the shoot. Hey, Pete. And for the viewer, not on screen, but the perfect full speed drop on the Tech 2. Noakes has got a shot at this. Yeah, he has. Big shot at it. Swing wow. it out, boys. Swing it out. My books, etc. Oh! No, he's going to have to drop. Yeah. He's having a go, though. He is really having a go. Boat is almost oh, airborne. Oh. Plenty of centreboard, you can see. Ah! Oh. Trying to drag that fluid wing to drive the apparent forward, right? Yeah, uh, just trying to reduce the pressure in the rig. I think he's got a drop, hasn't he? More heel. He's going oh. to have to. No, it's good, though. Oh, God. Good from here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Told you to pull it on a bit, Pete. Meanwhile, Tech 2 is rolling up to windward of him, Maynard Jim. Anyway, he's giving it a shot here, Noakes. He, yeah. He's going to get there, I think. He can certainly flag that distance if he has to. And then if he can get to the point, even if he has to rag it for 30 seconds, advantage back to him. Tech 2 has to reset soon. Yeah. See the crew right down the back. They're going to get there, I think. They are. Uh, which Just is a great effort. No, that's perfect. From uh, Tech 2 saying we're a bit conservative, but let's... Yeah, so they're going to set any second. Let's go, go. Oh, Noakes is on a screamer. He's got to get round the point. Lift, lift the centre board to get round. No, he's right. He's around. Well, top marks to Noakes. That was terrific. Yandu yeah, not Someone's out Someone's got yet. a break here. Yandu's yeah, not yeah, out of it, but he's... Tech 2 will be across him. Yeah. Yeah, no, Tech 2 will just do it, I think, Jimmy. We get the bow across in front. Tack and come in. He's laying, Pete, I think. Yeah, he's laying neatly. Yeah, just nicely lifting now into the finish. There's the finishing mark, the black and white check. Stand by. Tech 2 first. Well done. Great what effort, awesome. Jack McCartney. Luke Parkinson, Lewis Break. Uh, oh, here they go for Noakes, second. Noakes is going to get second. Noakes is on starb attack. Yeah. What's what's happening here? Oh, Noakes had to duck. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. He'll get second anyway, Noakes. Yes, correct, Pete. Yeah. Noakes second. Woody is slightly ooh. scratchy. In yeah, the he probably didn't think far enough ahead to get that no, one right, unfortunately. No. Anyway, good effort from those two. Both those boats. Good show, boys. All. Noakes all. and Yandu. Yeah, all good. Well, they've been the three standout performers this year.